Hello all. In this video, we'll see how to activate a particular environment for the One API AI Analytics Toolkit. We'll see how it works. First, we need to open up this uh, particular window. That's a Jupyter Notebook that we have opened. And when we uh, uh, select this plus button, this this there will have this terminal option. You just need to click on this. It will take us to the screen now some steps are needed to be followed so what we will do is uh, we will have to install a particular version of one api and there is certain information that needs to be done so first of all we will create this directory ml1 api i will go back over here just create it the first step is creating creating the directory that's being done now the next step is uh, getting inside the directory that will do here we get inside the directory now inside this uh, what we need to do is we have to use a particular shell script so that it enables us all the um, factors or the variables that are needed to activate the one api base kernel so we'll do that just wait for it so it will say that uh, particularly all the environments using like dnn or others are being initialized now we go back over here and we'll just use this conda activate base now we'll click on this so the base is being activated now after that i will use this why why we are using this ipy kernel is that it creates an additional kernel uh, that can be added or used for our jupyter notebook uh, usage so this is a very particular step and right? you have to be clear on this if you don't do this your kernel will not appear and you won't be able to use these different libraries that are enabled over here so i'll just click on it as i pi kernel is not installed it will take some time so it's looking for all the libraries now it's being installed now the next step is I will use this particular uh, command what it does is that uh, for the latest version of one api that's the the 3.1 uh, it shows this particular version and also enables it and also we are enabling the ipy kernel for the usage okay so if we just hit this It will take some time. As you can see, the kernel has been installed. Uh, so let us see that if that additional factor is being added to us or not. You see, as we have installed the new kernel version uh, in the notebook in the Jupyter notebook you will see this one api 2022.3.1 so it was not there before installing the features now it has come and you can use the new libraries like one dnn for your usage so that's the way you get started i'll just click on it now you can directly use your one dnn library because it's now updated for for the kernel that you have created now you can also change the modes you can just enable so the modes are there so you are ready to work with it so that's the way you get started with uh, other new libraries from uh, intel that is uh, the new libraries that i have mentioned like if you can go back 
you'll see the list list of libraries that I have shown yeah, it's ready to be used over here so give me a feedback if you like the video and we'll uh, continue the voyage thank you